of course, the birth of controversy deals with the issue whether or not President Obama was born in the United States. The conservative right wingers uh, have made that a big deal, saying that he was born in Africa and Kenya. And so now that Donald Trump is running for president, the question is, has he put the Bertha incident behind him? So, first of all, uh, I, I just happened to type in Trump, Clinton, Bertha. These are the current news stories. Uh, Clinton says that Trump owes apology to Obama and Americans over the Bertha claim. Her campaign was founded on this outrageous lie. There's no erasing in history. And so that's a political story. Uh, here we have uh, Clinton. Obama was born in America, and Donald Trump owes him and the American people an apology. That's from ABC News, and that's her comment on uh, Trump and birth movement. Um, so, Robert Costa, Washington Post, says that Trump's claim that Clinton started the controversy is false. You can read more here in the Washington Post. Tokyo's bill share with HRC deplorables in Trump's Bertha 2.0 race is front and up. And so, uh, according to Vincent Pellegrino, uh, saying that this is evidence, this is evidence that Hillary Clinton campaign tried a dirty trick on Barack Obama in 2008, and she'll do the same. For Donald Trump. And this is from Hillary Clinton. I'm just uh, showing this. Remember, Trump, the birth in chief, still refuses to even release his own tax returns and real medical records. Yet he was. focused in upon Obama releasing his birth certificate. Now, here is a tweet also, it says, but this is from David Fahrenholt of the Washington Post, who said that he sent to the Trump campaign to ask them how Trump will fulfill the promise to give $5 million if assured that President Obama born in the United States. Now, remember, Fahrenheit is the writer for the Post who has gone deep into the Trump Foundation story to show that Trump is making all kinds of contributions using other people's money, not his own. So, this is what Fahrenheit says. Hello, Dave, here today from the Post. I'm sorry to bother you, but I noted that today Mr. Trump said he believes that President Obama's Hawaiian birth certificate is legitimate. That makes this a story for me now. How can you provide details of where and when he will donate the five million Mr. Trump promised to give to charity? Now, this is a really interesting story. Basically, what's happened here is Breitbart has decided to publish an article about what CNN is saying. CNN is upset and they're saying that we got played because Donald Trump had sent out notice or his campaign sent out notice that they were going to be talking about Bertha. So they went in mass of all the media. There was a big story. But what Trump did was he played them and instead he had all of these military people come and talk about and praise Donald Trump. And then at the end, apparently Donald Trump got around to talking about the birther issue. Uh, so interestingly, I, I don't understand this, uh, but Breitbart, who is absolutely pro-Trump, put on their article a picture, big picture of an ape, of meaning a gorilla. Now, why did they do that? What's the connection of the gorilla to 
this story are they is it a reference to Africa you know I, I, I don't get it uh, or is it that that the saying that CNN is stupid uh, they got played I don't get the connection maybe you do if so please go ahead and tell me um, nevertheless I don't know if in the long run this really helps Trump it, it makes media not trust him 